this week, it's silage time. And it is a gorgeous day in Herefordshire. Look at my nice hedges. The view's great. Hopefully my silage is gonna be good. There's a skylark busy up there. I don't know if you can see it. You can probably hear it. There's a nice looking tractor there as well. So we've currently got two fields of silage down. This one, I'm hoping we'll make sheep silage. Um, we'll get it analyzed just to make sure it's good enough. And I think we've had enough sun. It should be all right. Um, the other one is definitely cow silage. It's a massive crop um, and we're just leaving it, leaving it in the swath. Um, we're gonna bale it up and there'll be, there'll be a huge amount of bales out there. So this is a herbal lay. So we've got loads of different bits in here. So there's some plantain there, loads of red clover. You know, so it should make really nice sheep silage um, with good protein, um, which is going to help us lower the amount of concentrates we feed to the sheep pre-lambing. Hopefully, if it makes good enough stuff. So we didn't tear it out after it was mowed, as it wasn't a huge crop. We just left it in the swath, um, but I have just moved two swaths from there and there into one in the middle. So I've bought the wet, exposed that, um, and it's rode up now, ready for the baler. So he'll come probably this afternoon, this evening, by which time this would have had some nice drying. Um, it's got a bit of a crunch to it. So should be good stuff. So just borrow to the contractor's rake to do that. So this is the other field. Um, we're about, what are we, two and a half, three days on from cutting now. So it looks like it's going over a bit, getting a bit too dry, but dig into the swath. Still green in there. So we'll let the top go nice and crispy. It will still be fairly green under here in probably two days time when we come to bale it. And it will probably make some quite nice balanced silage. And you can probably tell there's going to be quite a lot of it out here. Now, obviously, this isn't going to be rocket fuel, but it doesn't really matter. Our Herefords really don't need a lot, otherwise they get far too fat. So this stuff will be perfect. Let's go. Yeah. I'm like an addict, ooh, I gotta have it I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit If it moves, gotta grab it Fuse like a magnet, lose, won't have it Till I'm doomed in a casket I ain't playing, got a weird mind If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine If the shoot tastes sour, you should taste mine I'ma stay in power for a long time Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter Big picture, I'm a straight killer Rise in the song to the highest bidder Got juice, got gas, I'ma move fast New shoes, new tracks, like who's that? I'm new, come back, better than last Yeah, it's a new me, never gonna look back I'm never gonna look back Cause damn, I was built to last You move slow and I move fast And that's facts Only I can make a change Slowly take a step today I will never be the same Cause that's what it takes As we build the stack, we pop these old tubes in, in a line under the base layer of bales um, and pop rat bait in those tubes. So that basically means all along the bottom of a silage stack, 
that will extend out all the way out there will have tubes filled with rat bait that come the end of summer start of winter time the rats might make their way into the stack they'll run down those tubes eat the bait and obviously die before they get at our bales and normally we don't have a lot if not any rat damage in our silage stacks so it does work most years touch wood so just two blocks of rat bait per tube and then basically one tube per bale and these are just old tubes that the silage wrap comes on so i've just started this stack we'll go another bale high so we're four bales high and throughout the summer this stack will extend out all the way to the edge of that concrete and this will be sort of the main bulk of our silage once i've got all the bales from this cut back in the stack we will put this sheet on the back of the stack and pull it over um, and then as this space fills up this will come over with it and that's just stops the crows getting on the bales and pecking them and then under all the bales we put a sheet of tarpaulin um, just stops any stone stabbing into the bales when they go on the floor and it potentially but it might not i don't know stops um mice or rats sort of coming from underneath and burrowing up into the stack in the winter when we start opening them up there won't be many or hopefully none that have mold on so the writing on the silage bales is just so we know come the winter time which fields the bales have come from and which cut it was um, just in case we can't tell so that's those two fields wrapped up and back at the yard um, we've probably got a few more fields to drop in a couple of weeks but for now you can probably do with a drop of rain if you enjoyed the video give it a like maybe subscribe if you fancy it um, but for now cheers <laughs>